This is where it all began. This is where the record crowd of more than 170,000 fans watched American Pharaoh score the first goal of an equine hat trick that hadn't been accomplished in nearly four decades. From the patrons in the grand salons, high atop the luxury liner of thoroughbred grandstands, to the fashionable throngs on the promenade and main decks in all their derby finery, to the glorious shenanigans on the infield Lido, they all shared one thing when it was over. Each and every one of them could say, I was there. Two weeks later, at Pimlico, the conditions were miserable, but it didn't matter. American Pharaoh skipped over the slop to win by seven lengths. The second jewel secured, American Pharaoh became the next great hope to break the Triple Crown drought. But we'd heard that story before. Thirteen times, in fact. From 1979, when spectacular bid faded in the stretch to California Chrome's frustrating finish a year before American Pharaoh finally conquered Big Sandy. The mile and a half where so many dreams of thoroughbred racing immortality have been swallowed up in the Triple Crown's longest race. The Belmont which would finally yield the clincher. And here it is! The 37-year wait is over! American Pharaoh is finally the one! American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown! At last, the spell was broken. Now we come full circle. Back to Churchill Downs, where tens of thousands converge beneath the famed twin spires on the first Saturday in May. Hoping come June, our Kentucky Derby winner catches lightning in a bottle the same way only 12 thoroughbreds in history have. And once again, those of us lucky enough to witness the run for the Roses will be able to say, I was there when it all began. <laughs>